Now new at six, threats of intimidation using city resources for personal use and interfering with police investigations. Just a few of the allegations thrown against the mayor of Jonesboro in an investigative report. Investigative reporter Ashley Lincoln now live in Jonesboro. After learning the details of this report were not supposed to be released to the public just yet. And Ashley, you talked exclusively with the mayor about how these details did come to light. Yeah, Justin, I actually found out there was a court order in place prohibiting details from this investigative report to be released at this time because of an ongoing GBI investigation, along with state court proceedings related to allegations in this case. We spoke exclusively with the Jonesboro mayor. She says the early releasing of the details in this report are politically motivated. I just simply want to do what I was elected to do. Jonesboro Mayor Danya Sauter says this investigation report is merely a political witch hunt. Um, there was a lot of hearsay. Sauter spoke exclusively with Channel 2 Action News. The 46-page investigative report details several incidents related to Sauter's alleged conduct as mayor, including claims of erratic behavior and using city resources for personal use. I knew it was going to hold a lot of allegations that weren't true. Jonesboro Council members requested for an independent investigation after several complaints were made against the mayor since getting elected in March. I'm extremely frustrated um, because, first of all, the report was leaked out. But Sauter says those findings should have not been made public yet due to this temporary restraining order in order to not interfere with the GBI investigation and court proceedings related to some of these allegations. Sauter suspects someone on the council leaked the report. The city attorney said in a statement the council did not authorize the release of this report. Lawson's report claims Sauter violated state law after bringing a loaded firearm into City Hall back in August and pointed the weapon at an officer. Sauter denies that allegation. Lieutenant Newsom's claims are completely unfounded. She shared this exclusive video of the officer entering and leaving her office multiple times after she brandished the gun. Someone that fears for their life, somebody, someone that according to the report, I held the gun and pointed it at his chest. Um, would not have returned back to my office two more times. The report also claims a Jonesboro police officer worked overtime to take two of her family members to a Beyonce concert and later dropped her off at a hotel near Lenox Mall for a party. 95% of my time as mayor doing city business, I travel alone without security. And the report also lists allegations that Sarter requested for employees to make campaign contributions. Absolutely. Um, Untrue. I figured they were going to try to do anything they could to get me out of office. And Sauter says she did not participate in Lawson's investigation to respect the city's charter regarding ongoing investigation. Now, in that report, Lawson did recommend several financial audits into the mayor's spending. Now, we did reach out to all of the council members on the board here in the city of Jonesboro for a comment related to this report. They told us they cannot comment on pending legal matters. Reporting live tonight in Jonesboro, Ashley Lincoln, Channel 2 Action News. Tonight, there's a